Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn about ChatFuel Chatboot. So in this video, we are going to focus on how to use this to automate on Facebook. So first thing that you should do is you have to open any browser and then using the search bar, you just have to type out ChatFuel and you'd be able to see this first website over here. So now you'll then just have to click on that website and then you can continue with your Facebook account or continue with Google. So for this one, I'll be continuing with my Facebook and then just click on continue since we are going to focus on this video on how to use this automation for Facebook. Okay, and then you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and right here you just have to tell the chat if you will about your business so where will be you use your automation so facebook and then what does your business primarily do so for example sell products and then which e-commerce platforms do you use so shopify and then what kind of products do you sell so i just have to collect on it and then what e-commerce operation do you want to automate so you just have to click on it and then for example social media ads help with brand awareness campaigns or checked out process and then you also have here what is your personal phone number so by leaving a phone number you agree to get whatsapp notifications so to you know get a notification you have to select your country first and then you have to type out your phone number and once you're done you just have to click on the next step option okay so now you just have to connect your facebook page and start boosting e-commerce sales so to do that you just have to click on connect facebook page and then just select the facebook page that you want to connect so just click on the connect button or you can also read the instruction so once your page is connected so you'd be able to see this page over here so you just have to choose the right plan for you so you've got start a plan small business or a growing business but of course you can also skip this one for now okay so after that you'd be redirected to your dashboard okay so congratulations your automation is now live so you just go to your home page and now to start the automation process next thing that you should do is you just have to click on the automation option this one at the left side of your screen okay so when you click on it you'll be able to see this option so you can choose a template for facebook instagram or website but of course we can also choose a blank flow okay so i think it's better if we are going to start from scratch so we'd be able to understand all of the basic things that we have to know so for this video i'm going to create a blank flow okay now you just have to choose an entry point but you can also skip this one you know if you want to create a new flow okay so i just have to click on this plus icon at the top left okay so let me just arrange this one and then when you click on this plus icon then you just have to select add messenger flow okay or you can also add from template if you want to so for this one i'm going to focus on my facebook page so you just have to click on it and now we can start our flow okay so here first thing that you should do is you know you have to add frequently asked questions so you can add as many as possible okay you can also integrate things over here so there are lots of integrations that you can do so for the first frequently asked questions so you just have to click on it so for example since our you know business is all about selling products so i'm going to type it right here delivery update okay so this would be the first frequently asked question and then for the second one would be all about contacts okay now next thing that you should do is you just have to connect the delivery update to your starting point okay so this would be the first flow and then the second one it would be all about contacts so if someone or my chat would will you know receive 
a unknown message or you know unfamiliar message then they'd be redirected to a live chat operator so of course for the live chat operator i am going to add a person or add a signee here so of course i'm going to use my facebook account and then you'll be able to see here in the live chat section okay so let's go back to the automation sections and then let's focus on the first frequently asked question so for the delivery update okay so right here we can add a content for the first flow so we can add a button right here website or content about the frequently asked question so i am going to add here text plus buttons okay a simple instruction and of course a button for the frequently asked question so since you know our customers are asking about their delivery update so we are going to provide them a button or a link for them to see or to check on their own their delivery status okay so for example please click this link to view the status of your update okay and then right here you just have to add a button and then continue flow and then just click and open url and then you have to paste here the url of the update okay so i'm going to paste here a url and the next thing that you should do is you just have to click on enter and of course you have to add a button name so i'm just going to you know name this button as status and then once that you can also add more content and then the last thing that we should do is to set this automation live okay so to do that is you just have to simply click on this switch over here this inactive switch so when you click on it you'd be able to activate or to set this automation live okay so we can also test this flow first so please click this link to view the status so when your you know customers will click on this link so it'll be directed to a website where they can check their delivery status okay so now let's set this automation live so just toggle this switch over here now we just have to check our bot status so you just have to go home and then click on this option over here and then as you can see your first bot is now live so you know this is just a very simple tutorial but you know it's always a good idea to launch a simpler less elaborate version to see how it goes so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye